hello friends welcome back to online math so we're going to be solving this equation right here in this video so what we have is x plus 2 raised to the power 4 is equal to 81 okay so this is just cool the first step i want to take is actually to subtract 81 from both sides okay this is s plus 2 power 4 minus 81 is equal to 0 okay so next i'm actually going to rewrite this x plus 2 power 4 as x plus 2 power 2 and then all raised to power these two right here so let me put this in block bracket power 2 and then i can also write this 81 here as 9 power 2 so the idea is is i actually want to convert that to perfect square so that i can actually find it easier to simplify and then you know about this uh, mathematical expression if you have a squared minus b squared you can actually expand this to be a plus b and then multiply by a minus b okay so that in this case you can see that our a is x plus uh, s plus 2 power 2 and then our b is just 9 so if i simplify that here, i'm going to be having x plus 2 power 2 and then plus 9 okay multiplied let me put this multiplied by x plus 2 all raised to the power 2 and then minus 9 i need to still be equal to 0 okay so if we continue from there uh, we're actually going to be using the zero product rule to simplify so which of course from here this implies that it's either x plus 2 uh, raised to power 2 plus 9 is equal to 0 or this second uh, bracket right here x plus 2 power 2 minus 9 is equal to 0 so this is actually when the product will be equal to them so let's solve the let me solve this one first and then i'll come back to this okay so let's say this is our case one and afterwards i will solve this so this will be case two now if i pick case one x plus two power two minus nine is equal to zero so i can go ahead to open this bracket and of course if you've been following my videos i'll actually give you guys the simple trick to always open this kind of bracket and how you do that you just raise the first time to power two so x power two uh, plus you use this term this two here to multiply the things inside the bracket so that is two times x times two and that will be four x and then you also use this last term inside the bracket to multiply itself or you just raise it to power two so and that'll be two power two which will be equal to four minus nine okay this is equal to zero so simplifying for that this is x squared plus four x and then minus five is equal to zero so we've got a quadratic equation which of course when you look at it very well you actually see that it is factorizable so you want to find out the uh, two terms that when you multiply them it's actually going to be giving you uh, this minus five when you take the sum of those two terms it will give you this four right here okay so the factors that, that will do this work uh, just minus so uh, one and then five minus one times five gives us minus five and then five minus one is equal to four so now that i've got that let me continue here so i'm going to write this question here as x squared so instead of writing plus four i'm actually going to write it as a sum of five uh, x and then minus x okay and of course we have minus five and that'll be equal to zero. 
so when you look at these two these two first terms x is common so i will factorize that out x remains here plus and then 5 remains here so minus 1 is common here so i'll bring that out so x plus 5 okay is equal to 0 now i can get ahead to pick these and these so this is x minus 1 and then multiply by x plus 5 okay and this will be equal to zero which of course implies using the zero product through that x minus one is equal to zero or x plus five is equal to zero and then in any of the cases it is either x is equal to one or this one x is equal to minus five so this is actually going to be the first two roots of this equation so these are the first two values that will satisfy the problem we are solving and then we can move over to case 2 and then see how we can obtain the remaining values of x so and case 2 is x plus 2 or is the power 2 and then plus 9 is equal to 0 okay so if i open this i'll still have the same thing so this is x squared and then plus 4x plus 4 and plus 9 is equal to 0 which of course when you simplify this you're going to be having x power 2 plus 4x and then plus 13 is equal to 0 so at this point, I'm actually going to be using the formula method of solving a quadratic equation to solve this. So don't forget our and of course, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 13. Okay, so if we compute all of these in this, in the formula, in the general formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a so if we put all of the values of a b c here x now becomes minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 13 all divided by 2 times 1 and this will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 13 is 52 divided by 2 2 times 1 is 2 and this will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus root 16 minus 52 is minus 36 divided by 2 and then this will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus I can actually split this 30 root minus 36 as root 36 times root minus 1 okay don't forget this is divided by 2 moving on this will be equal to minus 4 plus or minus root 36 is 6 root 36 is 6 and then root minus 1 here is the complex value i and this is divided by 2 can actually factor 2 out here so 
so what i'm going to be having is a 2 into minus 2 here and then plus or minus so if i factor 2 out from 6 3 will remain 3i all divided by 2 so that these two can now cancel these two and then eventually x is now equal to minus 2 plus or minus 3i and of course these are the remaining two values of x so x is minus 2 plus 3i or minus 2 minus 3i okay so if you combine it with the previous two values of x which you've got x which is equal to minus 1 and then or x which is equal to 5 so these are actually going to give you the four roots of this equation let me know if you've understood what we've solved and then of course let me have your thought in the comment section subscribe to our channel and then like this video and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye